The Hazardous Waste Generator Improvements Rule of 2016 EPA strives to balance protection of human health and the environment along with encouraging recycling and conservation of resources, clarifying rules, facilitating better compliance, and being flexible about how some wastes are managed. In 2016, the EPA updated hazardous waste generator regulations with the Hazardous Waste Generator Improvements Rule. This was intended to make generator rules easier to follow, which would lead to better compliance, more flexibility in how waste could be managed, and fill in missing gaps concerning regulations. The final rule includes over 60 changes to existing requirements. Let us discuss some of the most significant changes set forth by the Hazardous Waste Generator Improvements Rule of 2016. The Very Small Quantity Generator VSQG category replaced the previous Conditionally Exempt Small Quantity Generator CESQG category. Very small quantity generators are now allowed to send hazardous waste to a large quantity generator that is under the control of the same person and consolidate it there before sending it to a treatment, storage, and disposal facility, provided certain conditions are met. Small quantity generators are now required to notify the EPA once every four years of their status instead of a single one-time notification. Very small quantity generators and small quantity generators are allowed to maintain their existing regulatory category when they generate additional amounts of hazardous waste as a result of an episodic event, provided they comply with specific conditions. All tanks and containers must have a label identifying the specific hazards of their contents, such as corrosive or flammable. Large quantity generators are now required to submit a report every two years, known as the biennial report, regarding the nature, quantities, and disposition of hazardous waste generated at their facility. The requirement of biennial reporting is also applicable to recycling facilities that recycle hazardous waste without storing it. Large quantity generators are now required to notify the EPA or most states when they close their facility. Finally, while developing contingency plans, new and existing large quantity generators are required to submit quick reference guides to provide emergency responders with fast access to key information instead of expecting them to sift through a long report in order to find it.